Well, for 23 years, Central Indiana tuned in to watch Day First deliver the latest uh, news about the Indianapolis Colts, Indiana Pacers, IU, Purdue football and basketball, and everything in between related to Indiana sports. Now Dave is diving into a new career path, one away from the bright lights of TV, but squarely in his wheelhouse. And Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports. Bill. Gary, thanks. And in addition to the local and state sports scene, Dave first provided coverage of all things related to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and IndyCar. So it seems natural that he would transition out of broadcasting and into his new gig as Vice President of Communications for IndyCar. And joining us today to discuss both life after and a look ahead to IndyCar's October return to the Speedway, we are joined by Dave First. And Dave, uh, welcome to the program, my friend. Bill, it's awesome to be here. New role, and it's still very fresh. I mean, look, look at my walls. Nothing <laughs> yet. So uh, the, the transition period continues here. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you, you got to get the work. So for those who may not know, just how did this all uh, come about after a long and distinguished uh, career in sports broadcasting? Yeah, well, 2020, right? Uh, who knows what to expect in a year like this? But uh, uh, you know, I've been kind of thinking about maybe life after sports casting. Not that I didn't enjoy it, not that I didn't love it. Uh, still very much did and still very much uh, enjoyed each and every aspect. I mean, you talked about the professional sports and everything at the Speedway, but man, on Friday nights, I love nothing more than being at a high school football game or a high school basketball game. Uh, and so I think it was about, I don't know, early in the spring, early summer, things just kind of developed. I got a phone call from uh, the folks at Pinsky Entertainment, and they say, hey, would you be interested in talking about something like this? And I'm like, Man, I, there is no question that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and IndyCar racing and the NTT IndyCar series has been a passion of mine for a long, long time. And and part of it is because uh, one of my predecessors at Channel 6 was the late, great Tom Carnegie, and, and he knew and appreciated what the Speedway had to offer for this city. And I kind of tried to, tried to pick up that uh, baton and kind of ran with it at Channel 6. So I, I loved everything about the Speedway. And I thought, well, you know what? This is an excellent opportunity because of the Pinsky acquisition. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity to see how far IndyCar and IMS can really go. And it's been a wonderful journey. It's only been a couple of weeks right now. Uh, my head's still spinning a little bit. I mean, I literally signed off the air at Channel 6 on a Wednesday at 6 o'clock, and it was in this office the next day at 8.30 in the morning. So the transition's been quick, uh, but it has been uh, something that uh, I've thought about following and I'm so glad that I've done it. And the pandemic notwithstanding, I think there is a cause for cautious optimism for the future of IndyCar in general, and certainly the Indianapolis 500 and the Speedway and all the things that are going on out there uh, in particular. But uh, again, IMS and the NTT IndyCar series, they are uh, hand in hand and, and one kind of lifts the other. And there's no question about that. And I know that fans haven't been able to come out and see yet. Uh, remember, tickets are on sale. Yes, we've got fans <laughs> for the Grand Prix coming up uh, on Friday and Saturday at the Speedway. But fans really haven't been able to take in some of the changes and the improvements and the things that, that Roger Penske has done literally from day one uh, when he talked about the, the, the acquisition. Uh, yes, it is a facility that is well over 100 years old, but when you go into it now, it looks anything but. It's fresh, uh, the restrooms have changed, there's a fresh coat of paint everywhere, video boards really at every turn. It is a much different looking Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and I know all the folks here on this side of the street, on 16th Street, and on the other side as well, can't wait to welcome the hundreds of thousands that'll be there uh, next year and for years to come. And Dave, there won't be hundreds of thousands, but there will be some thousands uh, on, <laughs> on, on hand for the, uh, for the Harvest Grand Prix coming up uh, uh, next weekend, qualifying Thursday, races on Friday and Saturday, and so that's certainly uh, an exciting development. No question. Health officials uh, in the county and the city said, hey, look, you know, we can get 10,000 in there uh, each and every day. And don't forget, Sunday is a race day as well, not for the NTT IndyCar series. The sports cars are going to be there for an endurance race. It's a weekend full of racing. So 
socially spaced. Uh, everyone's going to be wearing masks, making sure those hands are nice and cleansed and whatnot. Uh, but 10,000 every day, uh, it's going to be fun to, to see fans back at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And then, of course, the series will wrap up in St. Petersburg, where it was all supposed to start way back when, uh, on October yeah. 25th. That's going to be the season finale. And uh, don't forget, I mean, there's some other uh, exciting news coming out. I think the next couple of weeks, just talk about the next year's schedule as well and, and some special benefits and some special ideas that the series has coming up in 2021. 20, but uh, it's a good time to be a part, I think, of uh, Penske Entertainment and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the, certainly the IndyCar Series. Yeah, and, and real briefly, the, the big announcement for next year was uh, the addition of Ni a street race in Nashville. That's going to be, I think that's going to have huge potential. It's been talked about literally for years. Tony Cotman is a uh, uh, developer. He designs racetracks, does a wonderful job in doing that. And he calls that layout that he designed for the Music City Grand Prix uh, in Nashville probably one of the best designs he's ever uh, come up with or helped design. And so can't wait. It's going to come up in August, and there's already a buzz down there. Nashville is an international city, not just country music down there. Uh, obviously, you take a look at the other sports, NHL. Uh, NFL, certainly, uh, it, it is a much different city than it was 20 years ago. And the fact that the IndyCar Series can say now that they're racing in Nashville, Tennessee is a huge, huge feather in the cap. Well, Dave, first again, congratulations on your move to the other side. And, and we wish you nothing but the best. And we look forward to seeing you uh, both at the N NTT IndyCar Series, the Harvest Grand Prix, the Speedway, and you will still be a familiar face. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Send some pictures. I need something for the walls. We're going to do that. <laughs> Gary, back to you. All right, Bill, thanks. We all look forward to working with Dave in the months and years ahead. Thanks a lot.